You're watching Rebuild Projects.
Satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. Here we go. Let's get this in place. this deck lid on and see how that looks. fits really good but I lucked out because you know when I was actually building this I, I had thought ahead on one point uh, which was I knew that there's going to be a curve or a camber to the whole bow deck that's what you want you want it to be able to curve and water to fall off so I built that into the mold I, I raised the mold on the sides an inch screwed down the middle so when I built all of this there's a natural curve to it and I knew that when I when I was screwing these down just to get this in place there's a three-quarter inch gap in the middle that tapers off to nothing on the sides so you can see it but I didn't think about the fact that this um, part of the deck here which is that old donor tonneau cover is perfectly straight so that means there's a three-quarter inch gap all along this area but the part where I lucked out is um, it's not a big deal because uh, I'm going to be building a curb along here that the new windscreen eventually will sit on. So instead of having to fare out all this area, I'm going to be able to only have to fare out to the curb. 
Um, and then on this side, it's already angled towards the rest of the boat. As well as we're gonna be creating a instrument cluster pod or, or box or whatever you wanna call it, probably uh, triangular to keep the shape of the, the, the angle of the sides going, but that's gonna have the instrument cluster and probably a display, I don't know, Garmin or Raymarine or something, whatever I can find, that'll go there. Uh, let's start with getting this all epoxied in and fiberglassed. Well, the peel plies off and everything is looking really, really good. <laughs> good in the sense that it's cured to a point where I can add some fairing today. I use laminating resin, but with the peel ply, uh, it still allows for a chemical bond with the resin, or with the, I'm using my own uh, thickened resin fairing mix today. It's gonna be, heavy on talc and uh, microspheres or glass bubbles. So it'll be easy to sand out. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of wax or sanding agent so it doesn't gum up my sandpaper. That's gonna be pretty much what we're gonna get done today. I'm also gonna give a skim coat to the trough here and to the gutters on the side, uh, just so I can sand it all at the same time. Uh, so basically from here all the way around from that edge to the gutter inside and out I'm going to do a nice coat of fairing.